Go. Let's go. Oh, my God. I thought you said you were changing the song. <laughs> Surprise! Come on, this day. This is coming today. Look at all those cars. Five cats. Jack Stone. Third show, guys. Whoop whoop! Thirty-three and rocking it. Miss Cook visiting us from her home Good world. Morning. <laughs> the flying saucer has landed, and Miss Munchko. Look, giddy uh, up, giddy up. Miss Munchko, what is going on with you? <laughs> um, hot mess. It is um the Kentucky Derby is tomorrow. So oh. I have some cool stuff to share with you for the Kentucky Derby. And thank you, Miss uh, Jody Stouffer, for letting me borrow your hat because mine felt blew off and mine's in the car. So thank you for my fascinator. <laughs> well, where I grew up out west in Arizona, all the horse shows involved cows, steers, bulls, and uh, a lot of ropes. So it's very new for me out here. Oh, well, this is big time because um, as you know, lovely Miss Cook and I will be all dialed up for the Preakness, which is in two weeks. And that will be, I believe, the 143rd Preakness. So, you, so exciting. You believe. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a track of that. Um, yeah, my first job out here down in Baltimore, I asked my principal, hey, I said, hey, when, when do we get out for rodeo? And he goes, rodeo? What's a rodeo? <laughs> nope. All right. Well, yeah, we have the jewel, the second jewel. I mean, Baltimore and jewel in the same sentence. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take it. Um, okay, quick reminders uh, in the for the land of Forest Hillians. Uh, kindergarten registration. Ms. Senzer will not let me leave this building today if I don't remind everybody that we are going to begin registering um, children May 7th. Is it May 7th? I think it's May 7th. So call the office. They'll give you all the information you need. If your child is turning five on or before September 1st, it is time to become a little retriever. So it is, we're ready for our next wave. Um, fifth grade celebrations. I sent out the robocall last night and forgot to attach the fifth grade flyer, but it's attached now on a morning email. I just sent you now. I didn't do another call, but I just sent out the resent the email with the attachments. Tuesday, June 8th is the picnic for fifth grade with the rain date of Wednesday the 9th. And Thursday, June 10th is the fifth grade recognition ceremony, which will be held outside out front. Um, and um, it, if it pours down rain, if it's just, it, it's not possible to hold it outside, we'll hold it with the kids inside in the gym and live broadcast it. Regardless, if it's outside or inside, it will be broadcast because the county um, is only limiting us to two people uh, at the event uh, to attend the event. So um, it'll be broadcast so that grandparents and uncles and aunts and whatever uh, can see it. And then, of course, I'll post it up on YouTube later on. Um, OK, uh, also, I want to congratulate our 43 entrants into our Star Wars writing contest. Thank you so much, everybody. I've just taken a peek at a few of them, and uh, they're they're amazing. So tonight, that's my homework. All weekend long, that's my homework, because I'm going to go through them all and revel in your glory. 
I can't wait. Um, and on Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, May the 4th, of course, at 2 o'clock p.m. will be our special Star Wars show where we'll have the, uh, the uh, visitors from the Emperor's 501st Legion out front. And um, that we're going to call down um, entrance into the, the people who enter the contest and we'll pick our winners there live for everybody to see. Uh, we'll record it and we'll, of course, post that up too later on so you can enjoy it if everybody's working and working for a living like most of us are. Um, so we're looking forward to that and we're really thankful to the 501st Legion for supporting our efforts, getting kids to love writing and um, we're, we're having a good time. Um, well, speaking of Star Wars, Miss Munchko, I know that you've been kind of doing a John Williams unit in your music class. Yes, and we have. Um, we, I thought that we would challenge Mrs. Cook with a little <laughs> John Williams or not John Williams. John Williams is the man who uh, wrote the theme song for Star Wars, and we all know that one. And he's wrote a lot of theme songs that are pretty epic. So let's yes. see if Miss Cook can guess if this is John Williams or not John Williams. Are you ready? Yeah. Good luck, Mrs. Cook. Can you hear that? What's that one, Miss Cook? John Williams. All right. For, for bonus points, can you name the movie? E.T. Oh, <laughs> no, good guess. A uh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic yeah. Park, Mr. Seister's favorite movie. Oh, I love it. I love all of them. All right. Okay. Good job there. How about um, this one? Oh, now you're going to be Grammarly slow. Now you're going to give me a commercial. Effects, no matter where you are. Darn it. Compose a cover letter. That's okay. All, then we're, okay. Okay. We're back. I checked all these and there weren't any commercials when I checked them. Okay, hold yes. on. Let me get a little. All right, how about this? How about that one, Miss Cook? Ooh, that's scary. Yes, it is scary. Louder. That sounds like Jurassic Park. Huh? John Williams, not John Williams. Yes. Williams. It is and John you, Williams. John. I'm shocked. You know, it was it's oh, scary. John. What's in Jurassic Park? What is the scariest movie you can think of? It, it Jaws. It's Jaws. Jaws. Yes. That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. We are talking epic, um, you know, epic music from epic movies. How about this one? Oh, I know that one. Indiana Jones. <laughs> hey. oh. John Williams or not John Williams? John Williams. John Williams! You are brilliant. <laughs> He's done them all. Yes, he has. He's won five <laughs> Oscars. Wow. That's huge. He's been nominated for 40 and he's won five Oscars. And he's he's 80 and he's still cranking it out. Wow. Very impressive wow. stuff. And you know, you gotta step back and say, how enjoyable would those movies have been without that music that just made you unable to turn away you know yeah. from the screen so very cool um all right hey let's do some students of the week miss bunchko all right i would love to i'm going to start off with our um birthday girl um birthdays to the lovely miss underwood happy birthday miss underwood and she wants to recognize the lovely katie corelli for katie recognize the mess in the bathroom and was cleaning it up on her own. Well, way to go, Katie Corelli. <laughs> Katie! <laughs> yep, I could use some of that in my own home. And then Colin Rohrbaugh, learning to work more independently and doing great work. Congratulations to Colin and Katie from Miss Underwood. Awesome. Miss Cook, you got some? I do. Miss Cook would like to congratulate Caleb Nieberlein and Max Espinoza for completing the Patriot <laughs> Uh, nicely yeah. done. That's awesome. Miss Yekstat would like to congratulate for completing the Patriot program. Debbie Marin, Wyatt Bunch, and Jackson Sargent. Also, she would like to recognize Luke Pratt and Quinn Bar Barons 
for working so hard on math tests this week. They both took their time, showed their work, double checked their answers. Thanks for being nice. responsible students. Well done. Um, I have um, some patriots from Mr. Herity's class. He would like to congratulate the students who completed the second grade Patriot requirements. And they go to Alex, Colton, Quinn, Mark, Ethan, Cole, Bree, Kaylee, Madison, Jovi, Kara, Alicia, River, James, Chloe, Luke, Kately, and Luke Schaefer. I think there's a trifecta of Luke. Yeah, there. trifecta of Luke. All right. And I can tell you more about trifectas in math sometime. <laughs> I bet you can. Well done. Well done, I've, Patriots. I've got some from Miss Ryan Arts. Um, she wants to announce um, the kids who are putting first things first. Oh, I love that. Staying on task. Rakaya Syed, Kaylin Bull, Ava Heath, Cece Lashesky, Victor Flores Marin, Zach Kelly, and Logan Binniger. Nice job, guys. Woohoo! Mysterio, by the way, did you know that everybody in Mysterio's class are now Patriots? Woo! Mysterio's class are now Patriots! Good work. Good work. And um, they, she also has two students of the week, Carolyn House, and for always following the rules and being respectful, and Trevor Fernandez for always being a good listener and showing respect. Uh, I got one more from uh, Miss Mayhew. Uh, she's got a few kids who've completed the Patriot program, and she'd like to highlight Reese McCullough, Mason Hanna, Riley Wooldridge, and Duncan Adams. Way to okay. go, guys. Well done. What are you doing? From Miss oh, Manger's boy. class. Did you get Miss Manger's class? I did not. From Miss Manger, her student of the week is Lily Franz. She yeah. has transitioned seamlessly back to in-person learning. Lily is always so focused on tasks, participates, completes all, all, all synchronous and asynchronous work, spends Ooh. time on suggested interventions, and consistently displays all seven leader and me habits. Way to go, Lily. I'm proud of you, I'm and so is Ms. Manger. Lucky to have you as her student. Woo! I love it. All right, Miss Martha, I think it's time for a little birthday madness. Birthdays and a little trivia with our birthdays. So, as I mentioned, the lovely um, Miss Underwell, you know who else has a birthday today? Our Ooh. fabulous, wonderful cafe, the lovely Miss Kim DeMar. Happy Kim birthday. Kim DeMar. <laughs> And earlier this week, it was our lovely Ashley Bell's birthday and Nurses Day is coming up next week, boys and girls. Just put that little thought in your bonnet. Um, right. The handsome Cody Rugemer had his birthday a couple days ago. Okay. And our wonderful new speech person, um, the lovely Colleen Winter, has a birthday hey. tomorrow, Saturday, May 1st, which is also Kentucky Derby Day. Why? That's why I'm dressed like this. And I'll share those facts in a minute. But Mr. Hamilton, oh my goodness, also on this day in history, yeah. the Empire State Building in New York City opened. Really? In 19, yeah, in 1931. Oh, I have a and picture of its opening. Oh, you do have an opening? I, yeah, I do. Here's, here's, here's its opening. <laughs> they were really excited about that in, in New York. <laughs> I love that movie. It was a real exciting building opening. Yes, it was. It was like, yeah, we got this. That's right. So for 41 years, that was the tallest building in the world. For 41 years on so as of today, um, it's uh, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. That one is the tallest building um, at 163 stories. And in fourth place, we're going to go back to New York to the One World Trade Center, which is in fourth with 104 stories. And um, I had a couple interesting facts about it um, because um, it is actually 1,776 feet, and it, that is a direct reference, boys and girls, to the year of the Declaration of Independence being signed. So I thought that was that was kind of cool about that. Um, and also around that too, when they built 
the new One World Tower. They did it with um, recyclable, um, all the recyclable crumbling and everything from the previous yeah, right, hours. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's really cool facts about that kid. When you have more time, um, yeah, recycled construction and um, and the entire site was specially constructed also to capture um, rainwater to help the plaza for um, greenery. So it's also wrapping up the month of April. It's very green. Sorry. Very okay. green. Yes. Just hence the uh, my uh, my lumberjack attire. It's because uh, of it's Arbor Day too. There's a lot going on. Oh, there's so much going on. You got to give a shout out. Plant your trees. Plant your yep. trees this weekend that you brought home. And nobody got poked on the bus riding home. So bravo, Retriever. Oh, that's huge. Way to not poke anybody with your trees. And a shout out when you're talking about the trees to Mr. Howard Ecky, Ecker, Ecky, Ecky. Uh, Mr. Howard Eeks. Howard Eeks, that's it. And uh, the Harford County um, Forestry Board for providing those um, lovely red buds to us. Yeah, they're all retirees. They're all volunteers, and uh, they gave us hundreds of trees. That was awesome. Yeah, yep. and they're amazing. Yep. Uh, all right, Miss Cook. Oh, what, do you got some, one other thing, Miss Miss Well, Mushka? well, one more thing. When I was back to the the races. Just yeah, go ahead. It's, it's a huge. It's a huge. Um, um, proud moment for Baltimore when we have the second leg of the Triple Crown. But it's some really cool facts about tomorrow's race because due to COVID last year, there was no uh, Kentucky Derby. There was no. There was no. There were no races. So it's just some really cool facts. So the Kentucky Derby is the first leg of the Triple Crown. Um, the Derby is also called the Run for the Roses because the ward, the blanket of roses, has over 400 roses and it weighs about 40 pounds. So that poor horse. They've got like an 80 pound or 70 pound jockey and then 40 pounds of roses on it, which I think is is amazing. And you'll love this one because you're a big history guy, Mr. Hamilton. The Kentucky Derby was started by Lewis Clark Jr., grandson of William Clark, wow. um, half of the you know famous explorer of Lewis and Clark. Hmm. And he was inspired by the England's Epson Derby. So that is there, a, what an interesting there, connection. Wow. I know. Thanks, Ms. Munchko. Oh. You find all sorts of stuff, esoteric knowledge out. Yes, I do. And cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Very, there you go. <laughs> You're looking very minty. Minty, yes, a minty I'm weekend. Very right? minty. There you go. All right, Miss Cook, I think it's time for a little leader in me action. Okay. One thing that I forgot on our student of the week, I just oh, want sure. to mention this before. Miss Triller had a teacher of the week. She wanted to. Thank Miss Reinarts for letting her come in and observe. Um, and she wanted to just give her a shout out, her and Miss Reinarts and her students a shout out. Mm -hmm. um, she said they did an amazing job. Uh, they had amazing classroom behavior during her observation. And she just wanted to make sure that um, she thanked her and gave the students and Miss Reinarts a shout out on the retrieval. Yes, I wonder if she was British that day. <laughs> Not sure. Okay, so I want to say good morning to all my retrievers, my tre retriever family. Things sure are getting busy as we come to a close of this crazy mixed up year. And I want to remind you of something that I have had to remind myself. Everyone can feel stressed and get a little grumpy and irritable at this time of year when we are so busy. So many events and extra things to do. And even though they are fun and exciting for us, they still place a demand on our mind and our time. This is the time that it's important for us to remember to sharpen the saw, take time to rest and relax and revive. Do what sharpens your mind and your body so that you are fresh for everyone and everything that needs you. And now I'd like to introduce our Leader in Me Spotlight, fifth grader, Cece Leshesky. <laughs> Hi, Cece. Hi. Can you tell us about how you are helping others with your talents? Okay. A way that I found my voice is helping with the school store. I was chosen by Miss Hope and have loved working at the store ever since. One of the things I love working at the school store is that I can interact with other students. 
One way I can help other students, especially the younger ones at the school store is by coming up to them and asking them how much money they have and helping them find what they need in a timely manner. Another reason why I like working at the school store is because I can help people pay. Sometimes things can get a little hectic for Ms. Hope and Ms. Sutz when they are checking people out. So I'll give students their stuff and help them pay. And that is why I found my voice. That's awesome, Cece. I've seen you the, in there in the morning and I know it gets hairy. Um, you do a fabulous <laughs> job helping students find things that make them excited and happy and you're great with the money. <laughs> right, the way the way that you lift them up and then you shake them by their ankles. <laughs> you're a great role model, Cece. They look up to you and it's just such a beautiful connection you have with all the age groups and you make them all feel really important and valuable and um, you do a great job. Thank you. Great job. Cece. Cece. How do you feel when you're working when you're doing what you enjoy doing? Tell, tell us how you feel. I feel great because I like working with kids and interacting with them and when I can it is helpful to me and helpful to, helpful awesome. to everybody. Awesome. Thank you. I know that Miss Utz loves having you, so thank you. All right, C sir, you want to do a shout out before you go? Shout out to Fine Arts class. Oh. Aww. Thanks, CC. Thank you, CC. All righty, um, that was great. We're really like we love this segment. We love students stepping up and uh, doing their best, getting out of their comfort zone and reaching for the stars. Miss Munchko. All right, so in honor of our writing um, efforts with Star Wars, I have some new characters this week. So get your listening ears on. And we have some great jokes from Boba Fett and from Darth <laughs> Vader. Yeah, <laughs> woo! woo! All right, Boba have fun Fett, guys. Darth Vader joke. All right, all right, let's see if we can see them. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. They look a little nervous. <laughs> okay, so I forgot their name. Okay. Hey, Darth. Yeah, Baba. Um, why did Anakin Skywalker cross the road? I don't know, Baba. Why did Anakin Skywalker cross the road? Everybody, to get to the Dark side. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I started off easy. Okay. You guys got to be able to get this. Okay. Hey, Baba. Yeah, Darth? Um, what kind of car does a Jedi drive? I don't know, Darth. What kind of car does a Jedi drive? Come on. Come on, Mr. Hamilton. Oh. Uh, uh. Three, I don't two, know. A toy Yoda. Ah. <laughs> all right, you got you got two more. Okay, Bob. All right, all right. Hey, Darth. Um, <laughs> what kind of money do you use in space? I don't know, Bubba. What kind of money do we use in space? All right, this is a good one, and this is what Mrs. Uh, curly Hair Fangirl of all likes. Three, two, one. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to leave. Am I still there? Yeah, you're good. Oh, no, she's frozen. Oh, she... Oh, no, it's the, it's the internet. Hold on. Oh, no. We need a punchline to that one. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, yeah, it's, it's... Are we back? Is it on again? It looks like we had a little internet hiccup that knocked Miss Munchko off. We couldn't hear any more from Bubba Fett. Oh, here, okay. here she we comes. Here she comes. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I pushed the button. These guys got kind of excited and they were messing with my computer. <laughs> okay, what kind of money do we use in space? Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. So good. Okay, last one. Or oh, you go. No, you go. You go. Okay. <laughs> What did Obi-Wan Kenobi say at the rodeo? And Mr. Hamilton, rodeo, you know? Yeah, man, I love my rodeo. <laughs> I don't know. What did Obi-Wan Kenobi say at the rodeo, Darth? 
Use the horse, Luke. <laughs> Wow, Miss Monsko, that was, those were something. that was something else. <laughs> All right, I, I have um, a Yoda quote and uh, a tree quote. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah, and this is the one that almost everyone knows if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, it's Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I do love that one. Very and wise. then. This is a short one for Arbor Day and for um, Environmental Day, March, Earth Day. Open your eyes and let everyone be free. Free to be you and free to be me. Take comfort in knowing we are all leaves on the same big, beautiful tree. Oh, excellent, Miss Munchko, excellent. We, we are all leaves on the same big, beautiful tree. And I want to invite everybody to a live a streaming event tonight at five. If you got a little bit of time, uh, Mark Rober and Jimmy Kimmel will be doing a lot of fundraising for uh, adults or, or kids graduating high school uh, with autism. There's a lot more every year for kids from birth through school, especially in Harper County. We've got the Great Strive program. We've got early learners. We've got a number of programs to support these kids and help them grow. But once they leave school, there's a lot less out there for them. And Mark and a whole bunch of YouTubers, famous comedians and stars, there's like 50 of them, are all gonna be on this show tonight. And I'm really excited about it. Thankful for Miss, uh, Miss McAvoy for, or, for letting me know about it so I can put it on our Facebook page. It is on our Facebook page, the link to the show. And you're, uh, you know, of course, invited to go and contribute if you'd like. Uh, but that's a really cool event um, because we are all part of the same tree. Mm -hmm. uh, next week, guys, um, we celebrate the teachers who've been partnering with you, uh, our families, and have helped bring the children of Forest Hill through the crisis that's been COVIDia. Let your child's teacher know if we can. Uh, let your child's teacher know, and if we can, um, that because that if we could do anything, be anything, what we should be is kind. Words matter and knowing what they do as a calling is making a difference for your child and your family means the world to them. So reach out to them and let them know. Um, and I'd like to share with you a video that um, was shared with all of the staff by our superintendent this year uh, because um, they are a very special crowd. And these teachers in particular at this school have done nothing but step up and throw themselves at every problem and every challenge that they've had to face this year. And I think you all see that and recognize that. So let's spend a moment right now and celebrate our teachers who are American heroes. I've got a public service announcement for every teacher, educator, and counselor out here in the world. You are American heroes. When this pandemic first took place, everybody was talking about how amazing and awesome and how essential doctors and nurses and firemen and police officers, first responders are. And I agree, but guess what? You are essential. You all are American heroes because you show up and you show out every single day for the life of these kids. And when this COVID-19 happened, you told yourself that you will not stop that from allowing you to give these kids the absolute best that they deserve. We're talking about American heroes like the first responders. We're talking about American heroes, like Doctors Without Borders. They phenomenal whether they in Afghanistan or in John Hopkins University. They told themselves nothing will stop them from being successful. Nothing will stop them from being powerful. Nothing will stop them from bringing that aid. You all are American heroes like Representative John Lewis. He told himself nothing was going to stop him. 45 plus times arrested and put in jail. Skull fracture. He didn't sign up for that, but he signed up for justice. He signed up for equality. He signed up for love. He signed up for unity. And I know what some of you are thinking. You didn't sign up for virtual learning. You didn't <laughs> sign up for masks in the class. I get it, but you did sign up for education. American hero. 
you did sign up to bring help and to bring comfort and to bring relief to these kids, American hero. You did sign up to be educators, to mold them and shape the hearts and minds of our future leaders, American hero. You did sign up to go above and beyond and reach these kids where they are, believing that they can do great things in the future, American hero. And I got no doubt what you can do and accomplish when you have your mindset and your perspective intact. So do me a favor, don't show the world what you can do. Show the world who you are, an American hero. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, Forrest Hill. Everybody have a great weekend. Will do. <laughs>